right guys, uh, headed out to Grayson Lake. I'm gonna go out and try to find a few fish today. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I had a few Zoom and Skype calls this morning uh, as far as with, for work and stuff. Uh, was able to break away for a little bit. So I'm gonna go out to Grayson. I would much rather go to Gatesville, but I feel like it's just getting extremely pounded right now. Um, and I may or may not fish a tournament on Sunday out here at, at Grayson. I'm gonna try to find a few fish and see what happens. But if you guys just checked out, haven't checked out the latest two videos there from Mosquito Lake fishing with Kay Flair Bassett and his dad, Kevin Flaherty, you need to check those out. We had an awesome time. He actually was the very first person to win a pair of Solar Bat sunglasses from me. He ended up choosing the Solar Bat Floating Bats FL1s, which uh, are one of my favorite glasses that, that Gary has out right now. Um, and that is, um, you know, that's on the truth there. I, I really love them. They do float, float really high in the water. Uh, and Kevin, <clears throat> K. Flair Bass and Kevin, uh, young Kevin, he actually uh, won a pair, the very first one. So I'm um, giving everybody the opportunity that fishes with me. If you take me to your home lake or a lake that I'm not familiar with, we're going to set a, uh, a goal weight of what I think a trophy fish is on that lake. <clears throat> and if you catch a fish one pound below that or higher, then you're going to be able to win a pair of Solar Bat sunglasses from me. And he actually won those. So a super nice day outside right now, guys. We're headed to Grayson, obviously. Uh, 84 degrees. Looks like it's going to be partly cloudy as far as the, uh, the overcast sky goes uh, really big nice puffball clouds in the sky uh, no rain as far as I know the water <clears throat> I'm hoping is a little more clear than I expect it to be uh, if it's got a little um, bit of um, color to it I like that the, we're crossing over the Ohio River right now and it looks fairly decent for the river finally getting down into summer pool there um, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, you know go out here and try to find some fish I assume the bass out here are going to be spawning uh, maybe already spawned maybe they're they're coming off the nest who knows I don't know I'm gonna go out and check it out I've been out here in a few weeks actually it's been several weeks it's been about a month since I've been out here I'm gonna go out and try to find some fish I'm going to show you guys today how to rig and fish a shaky head. It's one of my favorite baits this time of year. It gets a bit. I'm going to show you my favorite baits to throw on there and you know how to how to rig it, how to fish it, different ways to go. So that's going to be the topic of today's episode is how to rig and fish a, a shaky head. But we're also going to catch some fish hopefully. So, so let's get out there and, uh, and lean on a few, shall we? Get a lot bigger than that one. Number one, though. Same thing I saw on the other day. Wacky rig. This is a um, green pumpkin yum dinger, four inch. Guys, best thing to do is uh, this is a jackal tungsten head. 
pinch your worm up together like that, find roughly the half of it, the center of it. Uh, a lot of people like to use um, O-rings and stuff in there, but for me it's just as simple to do that. Uh, you're going to get your bait broken a lot anyway, so there it is. First catch of Little rock bass, freaking full of eggs. Little rock bass, going back in. <laughs> the dinkers are smoking it today tell you what one thing i love to do is catch fish but i'm out here to catch a dandy so i want to mess around here for a little bit more if i can't catch one a little bigger than this we're going to go out in the main lake and see if i can't figure out something different Measuring, but I figure he's about 13 and a half, 14. Gotta be 15 for a keeper here. 13 inches. A little short. Getting bigger though. Let's take a second to talk about the wacky rig. This is a weighted wacky rig. This is my favorite way to throw it. This is a 3 16 ounce jackal tungsten wacky rig. Head. Normally I'm throwing this on a flick shake. The other day at Mosquito I was throwing these things, so I just you know, kept throwing them today and they're working very, very well. But let's talk about why these things are so effective, especially on days like today where fish seem like they're a little lethargic and they're not actually uh, chasing a lot of bait. This thing actually will fall with a weight down and actually cause these, these appendages to move like in a wave motion, which drives bass absolutely bonkers. And the reason I like this uh, jackal head is that it's it's has a um, weed guard on it. Again, it is tungsten, so you can fill the bottom or whatever you're on better. Uh, you can throw this around, brush and stuff. You're going to get it hung up. This is not a total weedless uh, rig, but it does do a really good job in certain situations. Today, I have you know pitched this thing around, caught a lot of fish. They've been really, really small, which is not what I'm after. I'm out here after one that's you know three to five pounds. That's usually normally what I'm after. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to swap this out. I'm going to put on my shaky head which i talked to you guys about when i was driving out here i want to show you guys how to rig this and how i fish it um as well as you guys seen i've been throwing this thing around fish are eating it but they're not uh they're not the size that i'm after so i'm going to do a little switching up see if i can't catch one so let's go out on the main lake water temperature right now guys is fairly hot way hotter than i thought it would be i don't think i'm going to find any bedding fish out here water temperature is 75 to 78 degrees in this cove which is um way hotter than i figured it would be uh, i haven't been out here in a couple weeks the temperature has been super hot lately so i guess it is what it is so we're going to go out in the main lake see if we can find some cooler water maybe try to find a bigger fish on the shaky head i'm also going to throw some big swim baits i saw some really big shad in this cove um like really big ones they're probably five six inch shad they were swimming in a group i didn't see anything feeding on them but if they're in there the big fish are definitely eating those things so let's uh 
Let's get geared, right, geared back up, head out on the main lake, see if we can't catch a bigger one. <laughs> got smoked at the boat, got back and got it. Little dinks, man. Out here on the main lake, trying to find some bigger fish. I think the bigger fish in this area is gonna be back in this timber. I'll find out, so I can get back in there and get them. So, what we have here is a shaky head that I've poured personally and get this in a do it mold. Saves me a lot of money. I lose a lot of these because they're fishing bottom contact with these. But notice it has a screw lock here. I'm using a four inch yum dinger right now. Again, the same bait I had on the other day. Mosquitoes haven't changed. My other favorite bait to throw on this rig is a Jackal Flick Shake and the 4.8 inch Cola collar. But in order to rig a shaky head, you're gonna take whichever end that you want to. Normally, you know, we're gonna use a flat end on a Cinco here. I'm just gonna thread this thing on the, the bait keeper here, the bait screw, all the way to the head. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to want to put your hook all the way through and then tech expose it back in there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend the bait slightly, go all the way through the bait like this, and then you're going to bend, pull up on the center section of the bait here, up, and then put this the hook point in there. So what that does is it keeps it weedless so you can pitch it around this uh, timber and stuff I've got right now. So I'm gonna pitch this thing up in here and see what I can get, get bit on. But that's how you rig a wacky rig. In order to fish one, guys, the best thing to do is cast it out, let it hit the bottom, and you're just going to be jigging it up off of the bottom. You can drag it if you want to, depending on the, the, you know, the mood of the fish. My favorite way is just to pick it up off the bottom every so often, making it bounce, you know, like this, um, and back onto the bottom. That way it makes it look like a, a fish that's feeding on the water or on the bottom or picking up a fry or whatever, so. Just don't seem to be eating that shaky head. They're hammering the wacky rig though. They're not big ones. Boy, not a giant by any means, but I believe he'll keep here. We're gonna find out. Oh, popper man, first popper bite of the year, baby. I don't think he's gonna keep, he's gonna be close. Let's try it out. See what happens.
14 inches. A little small. So fun to catch. First popper bite of the year. See you, buddy. Guys, all in all, not a terrible day on the water here. I got out, got some really cool drone footage. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Pretty cool stuff. That DJI uh, Mavic 2 Zoom is phenomenal. If you guys are looking for a, uh, a drone to pick up for yourself, that DJI one is freaking amazing. I love it. I'm glad I picked it up. Um, so the wind's blowing. Sorry. Seems to be the everything that I talked to you guys about the wind blowing lately, but caught a lot of fish. Not anything huge one not even a keeper 14 inches the biggest one we caught caught that on a popper uh and it is what it is guys i had fun today not every day on the water is just an epic day but i had fun today and that's what all matters so that's all that matters so guys if you guys can get out there and, and lean on them wherever you're at go out there and catch a few guys it's the it's prime time. Water here at Grayson Lake is getting too hot to fish, really. It's almost 81, 82 degrees. It's going to be scorching here before long. So, guys, thanks for checking out this episode of On Another Line. If you learned something, great. If you just like watching me fish, that's awesome, too. See you guys next time on Another Line.